Hello everyone, and here is the Apple Watch Series 8. It's in 45 millimeters with eSIM, of course. This is the first one I did get eSIM, so I'm a little bit hyped about that, but let's be honest, the Apple Watch Series 8 is really boring, like upgrades wise. It's, but still, it's a really nice Apple Watch and we gonna unbox it. I have now the Apple Watch Series 7, a 45 millimeters. So yeah, I'm just opening the flaps. Let's see. Okay. So it's the midnight color. I hope they will bring Everspace black back because yeah, the midnight I don't like that much, but also the other colors they have are not for my. I was really thinking to get me the in a steel version, but I think I will probably wait until next year. I did also not buy the Apple Watch Ultra because for me it was a little bit too expensive, but I like the design of a smaller Apple Watch a little bit more. So let's see what this brings. So what is in the box is of course the Apple Watch box like what we normally get just with apple watch on it that's it then the black sport band that's nice as you can see and then the package is also really nice with the apple watches on it really love that there we go there we go it's open so okay we're just gonna start with the paper in it so it's just apple watch and some folders the cable is the same as just the apple watch charging puck with a bigger USB-C port for false charging. So that's the cable of the Apple Watch Series 8. Next thing is the Apple Watch itself. Probably you can see nothing at the first glance. But we will look what this will be. Let's see. Yeah, I see directly something, but that's new for me, not for you maybe, but it's the red circle around because I have the eSIM model with 4G, okay. Yeah, it just looks exactly the same as my Series 7. You can see if the pack is different, but it looks technically the same. The screen is the same, the sides are the same. The only difference for me is the red circle. I would, let's be honest, I was thinking to get me the solo loop, but yeah, still not. But maybe I want to send this back and get the solo loop, but I will see. Or maybe I can contact Apple and let maybe I'm ask them if I can just send the pen back in and get another one. I don't know, but I really want something different than this. It's like, this is the same band from from four or five years ago where I bought my first Apple Watch. So yeah, here we go. Apple Watch, of course. And of course the same band that was with my Apple Watch Series 7. Yeah, it's just the same. I think it's a little bit, no, it's exactly the same. Like my old Apple Watch is deleting, so we're gonna place the bands in it. Always nice to have a new Apple Watch, it's so clean again. I'm really hyped about the eSIM, I think. It's something I did never had on my Apple Watch, but I don't know if I'm gonna use that, but I will test and if I'm not using it in a month or something, I will send me this back and I mean probably the cheaper one because this is really expensive with the eSIM on it. So that was the unboxing part of this video. I really want to make this video a little bit better and tell a lot more about the Apple Watch Series 8 and show you some new things on this watch let's start with the temperature sensing i think that's the most big upgrade about the apple watch Series 8 so the temperature sensing i'm a little bit skeptical about because it will be only used for like woman uh, cycle tracking and better period prediction so that we as men we're not going to use that but i think in the sleep tracking mode i wear my apple watch every night if i'm going to sleep i just charge it before i go to sleep so that's what i do but in sleep tracking i think we can get even better details of sleeping with the new temperature sensor so there's a temperature sensor under the screen and one under the wrist. So that means it's measuring the outside temperature and the temperature that's on your wrist. And with machine learning and stuff, they can know what the temperature of your wrist exactly is. Because normally we don't measure temperature at the wrist, but the Apple Watch do it. So it will be helpful. But it's a little bit weird that there's like no app on the Apple Watch that you just can go press, open it and press measure my body temperature or something. But Apple does not name it the body temperature, but it names wrist temperature. So that means in the Apple Health, app i just go to show you you see it needs more data so this will only measure if you're at sleep and the sleep mode is activated on your iphone or apple watch Series 8 if you're going to sleep as you can see it says available after four more nights i did sleep one night with my apple watch so i need to sleep four more times with my apple watch and then i can see my temperature i really excited to see what we can actually see in the data but i think it will just be in graph and nothing special but maybe we get even more data in other watch updates i will really excited to see that and also in an older video i'm going to tell more about the temperature sensor
entering in the Apple Watch Series 8. The next thing on the Apple Watch Series 8 is crash detection, also car crash detection. So that's something that is working with also a new sensor in the Apple Watch and that's the GeForce Accelerometer that detects up to 265 gigs of impact. So that sensor works together with a bunch of other sensors like the GPS, the barometer, the three axis gyroscope and an advanced fusion algorithm that is trained over 1 million hours with real time driving and crash data. Also the three axis gyroscope that is working together to detect if you're in a car crash is also improved so that's also something new in the Apple Watch Series 8. All these car crash detection things are also in the iPhone 14 lineup and in the Apple Watch SE and of course in the Apple Watch Ultra. And let's be honest, I don't think this will be much used, but it will be helpful if you're in a crash. So it will call just emergency services for you if you're not responding in 10 seconds. I'm not going to test this, of course, but if you've ever been in a car crash, it will maybe save your life. So please let that be turned on. What is also new on the Apple Watch Series 8 is data roaming on the Apple Watch if you have a cellular model. It will be really useful if you're traveling a lot, then you can finally have 4G with data roaming in other countries if you're traveling a lot and you're wearing an Apple Watch with the cellular model. So this was my unboxing and first impression video. I'm absolutely going to make an other video where I'm going to test more of these functions in the Apple Watch Series 8 and tell more how the battery is, how I love the cellular model because it's my first one and maybe you are also thinking to buy a cellular model. So in an other video I'm going to say if it's worth it to spend the extra money to get the cellular model or not. So stay tuned for that video. Also don't forget to follow me on Vero, Instagram and Twitter. Links are in the description. Also, don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel and also don't forget to like this video. So, we'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye.